As someone who makes computer videos on YouTube, it shouldn't be a surprise that I also watch other people's computer-based videos on YouTube. And one question that I'm surprised that Linus Tech Tips hasn't sought to answer is, since he seems to drop everything, is how droppable are certain computer components? Now, a solid state drive and a CPU and RAM, those things are pretty droppable. They don't have any moving parts. It's just one chip with maybe a heat sink on it. But when it comes to hard drives, those are probably among the least droppable things out there because the moving parts in them have to be so precisely positioned. So, I have purchased a dozen hard drives off of Craigslist for less than a hundred bucks, which is a bargain considering that all but one of them actually works. So, with all of these hard drives, we're going to test dropping them, shooting things at them, we're going to test them all until they've been destroyed. Now, I've done some preliminary benchmarks, which, assuming I can fit them all on the screen, I'll do now. But basically what we have here are a few desktop hard drives ranging in sizes from 80 gigs up to 750. They're all SATA 2 drives, and they've all been used for at least 10,000 hours of actual powered up spinning time. Now, what I find pretty impressive is that in terms of power on cycles, which can also be wearing on a hard drive, some of them have only been used 81 times, whereas others have been used over 15,000 times. I've got about five laptop hard drives I purchased that were all 320 gig, except for one, which was 120, all SATA 2. Um, one of them only had 3,000 hours on it, but they've all been booted up at least 1,500 times less than 4,000 times, because a laptop will have more power on, power off cycles than a desktop, typically. Because destroying these hard drives will probably be more fun than looking at the data, here's a montage of the destruction process. While it may feel like it's only been a couple of minutes for you viewers, it feels like, and it has been, a couple of weeks for me. Because not only do I get to destroy these drives, or at least try to, I have to read and rewrite the entire capacity of these drives one by one to make sure they still work after all of these tests. So you're probably just as frustrated as me that not more of these hard drives are broken by now. And I'm still trying to think of more ways that I can destroy these drives 
because it's kind of tough to Really? So we're going there, huh? Well, a quick shout out to our sponsor. Here at Two Tech Tutors, we have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to misappropriation of memes. And as such, Grumpy Cat will be busy for the remainder of today doing some RGB strip testing for us. It's not rope, they're RGB strips. This is science for computers, not animal abuse. But moving on back to the hard drives. So as you can see here, some are alive, some are dead, and now we're going to see in the not terribly unlikely event that you have a hard drive fall off your workbench and onto a hard concrete floor. Let's see if it still lives or not. Well guys, it has been fun testing all of these hard drives with you, but unfortunately it's time for this video to come to a close because I've basically run out of hard drives to test. As much as I would love to just take these hard drives and chuck them across the parking lot like frisbees, it doesn't really present a useful scenario. And if I pick up some more used hard drives, maybe I will test that in the future. But for now, we're left with one and a half working desktop hard drives and three fully functioning laptop hard drives, which given the sample sizes would indicate that a laptop hard drive is much more resilient when it comes to motion based stuff. But if you're looking for a way to make sure that no one gets their hands on the data on your hard drive before you sell it, then make sure to check out a video that make sure to check out a video we have over here, which is based on wiping your hard drive and once you've done that and you want to recycle it, then make sure to check out this video here. I'll have a couple more videos over here for you to take a look at. And if you want to see the ones coming out in the future that I haven't even imagined yet, then make sure to click here and be subscribed. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.